Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Scorpio. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for July. Okay, this is for July. So let's just see what comes up. Keep in mind that not every reading is for you, but let's just see what I have for you for July. July's preview of what's to come. What do we have for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Oh, there we go. Okay, we got two. I, for some reason, I felt the need to look on the bottom. Ooh, maybe I shouldn't show it to you, but I'm going to because I looked. Cracked cup. Dissatisfaction with life. Okay, but that's on the bottom. I think that hopefully that's over. September is prominent because September, September is coming up. And here we go. This is what we're looking for. Four leaf clover. So that is good luck, good fortune. It is four leaf clover. So there's something good that is coming to you. You know, when you see a four leaf clover, it means that it is good luck. So something good is coming. What do we have for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Something to do with September. What do we have for Scorpio, Sun? Oh, we got to take that one. Enemy disguised as a friend, which you were probably aware of. You probably have an enemy that is disguised as a friend. Could be a younger man, because I just had younger man on the bottom. You have an enemy that is disguised as a friend, for sure. Um, enemy disguised as a friend. Luck is on your side. Thank the Lord. Uh, September is prominent. One more card for Scorpio. Five, five, five. Expect the unexpected. Life is about to change in a very positive way. This is unexpected change. It's conflict, unfortunately, that brings positive change. Expect the unexpected, Scorpio. That's what 555 is. Okay, so something is also coming to an end. Okay, we have the end. So something is coming to an end. Your life is about to change. 555 is change. It's personal freedom. It's major life choices. Your something big is about to change in your life. What do we have for Scorpio? Some of you are dealing with the Queen of Pentacles because I just heard the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Luck is on your side. Maybe you're getting... I was going to say maybe you're getting married. I don't know. Maybe it has to do with marriage. I don't know where that's coming from. But uh, what do we have for Scorpio? The Magician. You could also be dealing with a Gemini. It doesn't have to be, but this is a yes answer, something you've manifested. This is a golden opportunity. This is a divine connection. Uh, as above, so below. This is something that you asked for. You're going to be getting something that you asked for. It's a time of growth. Um, it looks like it's a very happy time. Look at this person is smiling. You're about to get something uh, I feel like you asked for. I feel like your hard work is going to pay off in some way. Yes. Yes. You happen to see that yes over there in the corner? I don't know if you can see it. Let's see if, There we go. See it right there? The answer is yes. So, yes, this is a yes. This is exactly what you asked for. You're about to get something that you asked for. You manifested this. Expect a change. It is a positive change. Unfortunately, it comes after conflict because that's the deal with 555. Um, hmm. What do we have for Scorpio? I don't know why that card was in there. Um, five, 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 personal freedom, major life choices, your choice is about, or your choice, your life is about to change in a positive way. It's a massive change. Expect the unexpected. Hmm. 
you're in a powerful position. You are in a very powerful position. You could all, did I, did I tell you we might be dealing with a Gemini? I think I might have. If I didn't, I am now. We definitely have a Gemini here. Four of Pentacles reversed. Knight of Wands reversed. Something is coming to a stop. There could be a sudden departure. We have 10 or a sudden arrival. 10 of Swords. That is the end of suffering. That is the end. It is the end. And we had the end as well. Something is coming to an end. Things are about to open up. There's going to be a release. Uh, Knight of Wands reverse is reckless behavior. Could be a dangerous situation, just being honest with you. The Knight of Wands reverse is a reckless individual who sometimes does something impulsively without thinking. You know, this is somebody that is overly competitive, that likes to fight, that likes to force things. So I'm not sure if you're dealing with somebody that is very, very forceful. You know, this is somebody, it could be even violent, the Knight of Wands reverse. You could be dealing with somebody that is violent. This person could be leaving your life. It feels like it's a fire sign energy. I could be, I could be wrong though. It could be anybody. Um, you've got somebody here that doesn't want responsibility. They move very fast. Uh, this is somebody that is very controlling, that has been restricting you in some way, or there has been some sort of restrictions. I think there's going to definitely be a sudden change, uh, opening up, releasing. Um, if you've been feeling insecure, things are going to change. Okay, they are. This is the end of a situation where there's been some sort of suffering okay it is the end okay the, the, the ten of swords is a death which is an ending okay it's the end of something page of pentacles reversed two of wands reversed a choice is being made two of pentacles upright we have quite a few twos here hierophant reversed Somebody's been having a hard time doing the right thing because of social pressure. You may be dealing with a father figure or a person that is in a position of authority that is disgraced. This person is under a lot of social pressure. They aren't very practical. They aren't very spiritual. There could be a broken relationship here. This person uh, is a lawbreaker. They break the law. The hair font reversed is somebody that... Uh, is social is under a lot of social pressure can't do the right thing um has a hard time doing the right thing this is like a person that's in a position of authority that uh is disgraced and that is in your past though page of pentacles reversed this is dropping out no commitment lack of common sense uh letting go somebody is letting go oh i gotta get one more card um, King of Wands reversed High Priestess on the bottom I feel like you probably need to go within You're going to need to go within You may be dealing with somebody that is very spiritual That is very uh, intuitive This could also be your energy I think that you're going to need to take a time out To reflect on something that is happening A very good big time out I feel like things are going to happen That may bring a little bit of chaos into your life uh, with that two of pentacles, that, that is a realignment. So I think that there is going to be some sort of realignment here. Uh, I think for some of you, you're dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could be sun, moon, or rising. There is a major ending here that changes your direction. Uh, could be a father figure, something to do with a father or uh, somebody that is in a position of authority as if they were a father. Could be a ruler, a boss, a judge, something like that. Somebody that is in a position of authority that is losing their position. Somebody is losing their position. I feel like uh, a decision is being made right now. Um, things are definitely going to liven up. They're going to get very, very lively for you. I think that you're taking a step in a new direction. Um, or somebody that you're dealing with is. You could be dealing with somebody that has been very self-centered. Uh, there's corruption here. There is some sort of corruption. This person, I don't know if it's a boss or somebody that you work with. Uh, or it's a father figure or... Somebody that is just mean-spirited. It feels like this This is like a fall from power, a fall from grace. And I feel like you are... Um,
<clears throat> I think there's some sort of gift here. There is some sort of gift in release because I see release a couple times. That four of pentacles reversed is releasing something that you, maybe you've been protecting yourself in some way. There's been an abuse of power here. Somebody lacks common sense. They're, they've been stagnant. They've been lazy and complacent and extremely stubborn. And they haven't been able to do the right thing and they've been holding on to a position or holding on to a situation because of money, because of security, because of stability. There's gonna be a sudden change a sudden arrival or a sudden departure with that Knight of Wands. Extremely sudden. This is this is like very sudden. Extremely sudden with the Two of Wands. Spur of the moment. Something's going to happen. Spur of the moment. Four of Swords. Reverse. Extremely exhausted. Fed up. Somebody's moving really, 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 really fast as well. Extremely fast. So something is happening very, very, very fast. This is the end of suffering. There's going to be a change. You're going to, and it feels like it's a, you're smiling. There's a smile here. There's a smile here. So it's like, it's a good change, but it comes from conflict. Okay. It's usually conflict that brings change. I mean, that's the reality of it. Okay. This is actually a positive change. I do believe that you have an enemy that is disguised as a friend that is um, causing this change. This person is not your friend. Could even be a family member. Major ending. Ending of a cycle. This is the end of suffering. It's time to live again. It's time to get out there. It's time to open up. You're going to be opening up to somebody. Taking a step in a new direction. There's a geometric power that is realigning you. Uh, bringing balance into your life. This is a profit and a loss with the two of pentacles. It is. And that is in the future. You, you lose something to gain something. So there is going to be a profit and a loss here. I, I feel like some of, for some of you it has to do with what happened. Oh, what the fuck? I don't think this is funny. Well, the power just went out. So. <sighs> you guys can't see me. <sighs> I'm going to get a candle. There's one. I'm going to get another one. <laughs> Everything happens for a reason. The lights are going to go out, obviously. Something is going to happen that is pretty freaking drastic. Let me find another one. Come on, I have candles all over there. The thing is, I brought them all out in the living room. Oh. We're still going. <clears throat> Hold on, we're not we're not gonna stop this. Obviously there's going to be a blackout of some sort. Yes, sir, there is. Let's see if I can find another one. Something is about to change. It is drastic. It is drastic. It's gonna be very sudden. Lights out, just like that. Something crazy. Something crazy. I'm not done yet. We're just going to keep this. Uh... Oh, I'm trying to light this up. I'm 
sorry, but it is what it is. You know, keep in mind that every word that comes out of my mouth is part of this reading. So, something crazy is going to happen out of the blue, extremely suddenly. Extremely suddenly. You guys can't see me. You still can't see me. Whew. Well, I guess we could come back to this later. Or I could just do it in the dark. Hmm. Sudden change. Extremely sudden, extremely per the spur of the moment, Scorpio. There's going to be some sort of realignment that is going to move you in a new direction. Absolutely. <laughs> Maybe if I go open that door. A door. A door is going to open. Keep in mind that every word that comes out of my mouth is part of this reading. Definite realignment. There's going to be a massive change that comes out of nowhere. And you still can't see me. So anyway, Scorpio, get prepared. Expect the unexpected. Let me see if I can turn the flashlight on on my camera. Light bulb moment. Ta-da! Look at that. Improvise. So anyway, all right, twos, faith and trust. You can you have three of them with the high priestess, the two of wands, and the two of pentacles, two, two, two. Faith and trust. You're going to need to have faith and trust. There's going to be a change. Twos are about changes. They're about uh, partnerships, and they are about choices. So, yes, there's going to be a change. There's going to be a choice. And it is, you're going to need to have faith and trust. Something is, either we have a dead end here. Something is coming to an end. It's going to change very suddenly. Uh, massive ending with the Ten of Swords. This is, but this is actually the end of suffering. Um, it's out of your control. We have, we have somebody here that has abused their power. And it's all coming to an end. And you are, and I feel like we have a new life here. I feel like we do with the Four of Swords reverse. This is starting to live again. This is the beginning of a new life. This is, you are at a crossroads. You are at a place where, you know, there was something that was blocking you. And this blockage is about to be removed. Um, you're about to receive something better. And you're probably going to have to let something go because it's a profit and a loss. Um... Just breathe, 555, five, five. expect the unexpected. Personal freedom, your life is about to change in a very, very big way. It is actually positive. Ten of Cups, reverse, broken relationship, end of a relationship, dying dream, leaving home. There's relationship problems here. There's there's some sort of memories. You're gonna do, be doing a lot of mem rem memory reminiscing you could be there could be memories of the past that are popping up you may be also uh the six of uh cups can be remembering what love feels like you know reminiscing about love a lot of memories here um there could be a separation with somebody i don't know if that you live with Six of Cups is memories, it's nostalgia. A strength card reversed. Strength card reversed is weakness. It is um, no courage, no confidence, strong control, 
egotistical. You're dealing with somebody that is very, very egotistical, that is very controlling, that does not respect others. But I feel like everything is about to change. I feel like there's a separation that leads to a, a new beginning, and you probably can't see it, but now you can. The Ace of Cups. That is a new start in love. It's a new beginning in love. It's an abundance of love. So this is a new start in love. This is a flood of emotion. Okay, so you're probably going to be in your emotions because there's this, this is obviously an ending that leads to a new beginning that is very, very happy. Um, I was able to get light. So from darkness to light. You could be falling in love with somebody new after there's been a lot of suffering. Whatever is happening, life is about to change. Expect the unexpected. Somebody may be losing their power over you. This is somebody that is very self-centered and conceited and self-righteous. They're losing their power over you. Maybe you're falling in love with somebody new. You're, you're opening up. You're, you're letting go. You're letting go of the dead end the, with, with, with somebody that would not commit. There's relationship problems here. There could be a separation. And this could be a family member as well. You know, we have somebody here that is very socially driven that is in your past or around you that is only cares about money. Maybe you're letting that person go. It's finally over. It's finally over, you know. Anyway, I feel like I feel like there is love around you. There's an abundance of love around you and you should expect the unexpected. Okay? There is something. Now we got the ace of of swords, which is the truth. It is power. It is honesty. It is the raw truth. It is communication. So yeah, there is going to be and that is taking a new approach. It is a new idea. So I do believe it is also the sword that cuts, that severs ties. I feel like you're going to be severing ties with somebody for good. 